All right, this is going to be a quick one. Um, as you may know, when you try and use the array function for a specific object, it can work pretty well. However, if you wanted to use multiple objects, you can't inherently do that. So what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to show you how to have a, an, a group array function, I guess. And we're going to just open up my snowman quickly. It's been a while since I've worked on this scene. Um, recently found it again. So let's go back to our window view mode. I'm going to delete the scarf and chuck this in here just so it looks a bit neater. And forgive me if the naming convention is not right. Anyways, so yeah, that's our snowman. And as you can see with the snowman, it has many different components. And the reason why it has many different components is because there's a lot of, each of these components have a lot of procedural elements within them. So they can be modified and altered within seconds. So I don't really want to make them one object because then I've got one solid object. So that's why I need to have uh, to, to use an, an array function that groups everything together instead of me having an array function for every single object and trying to line it up. Yeah, so this is how we do it. First thing you want to do is press numpad1, shift a, mesh, and we are going to make use of a plane. We're going to rename this plane our snowman instance. And just like that, we have this plane here, which is our snowman instance. Now that we've done that, just to save time, I'm going to press shift a, which is an extra step that gives you more flexibility. Um, we're going to add an empty, which is of the plane axis, and we're going to call this snowman instance empty. And just to fi finish things off, the last thing we need to add, and it's the only thing we need to add now, is a path NURBS curve. You want to use the path because it's the least glitchy. So I'll select the path NURBS curve, and I'm going to rename it the snowman path curve. And we've got these names here. Now, the first thing you want to do is that we want to be able to group all of these objects onto this single instance. And the way we do that is that we make this single instance or this plane, if instance is a word you're not used to, um, we want to make this the parent and everything, every component of the snowman from the arms to the buttons to the hat, we want all these other elements to be the child to the plane, much like the planets of our solar system are the children to our sun. Um, if that makes sense. All right, so the way we do that is we take our snowman instance, which is our plane over here, and with this selected, I'm going to now hold the shift and select every component of the snowman, which is here. The big thing to pay attention to here is that all the other components are dark orange, and the parent, which is the snowman instance or this plane, is light orange. If you manage to get that right, you can press Control P to parent it, and you can select object. And just like that, we can minimize that. Our snowman instance is the parent to all these things here, even though they actually all reside within this collection. You get the idea. All right, now that we've done that, which is the biggest step and the most difficult for people, we can move on to the easy stuff. We're going to select the snowman, in, uh, the snowman instance, which is the plane, and we're going to click on our object properties. Inside of our object properties, we've got this thing called instancing, which is kind of what we want to do. We want to create instances of this collection, of this group. We want instances of the snowman, or it might be scarecrows, or it might be palm trees. I mean, there's many applications for it. And also, to add an extra curve to this, we want it to follow maybe a creepy pathway. You want to be able to make it follow, so it's not just perfectly straight, it can follow a meander. All right, so I'm gonna, you can use vertices. Now, vertices, there are four vertices on a, plane. So every vert is going to have a snowman. We don't really want that in this case. It could be useful in some cases, but we're going to use the face because there's only one face, which means there's one snowman. And uh, now that we've got this, I'm going to press numpad one. And we can go to our, with your plane selected or your snowman instance, we can go to modify properties, add a modifier, and we're going to add two modifiers. We're going to add an array modifier, and we're going to add a curve modifier. We'll minimize the curve modifier for now, we'll get to it. But with the array modifier, as you can see, we can separate this and the whole collection is moving across, which is great. But we, we want to take this a step further. We want, to, um, we want to control how far apart these objects are with a bit more precision. So we're going to click on Object, Offset, and we're going to offset it with an empty we created, which is the Snowman Instance Empty. And now you'll notice that even though we've got the count of three, we don't see them. It's because we need to select our snowman instance empty, numpad one, press G, X, and just separate it apart, and you can separate it how you like. And there you go, there's our three. But 
this only works for a straight road. What if the road turns and meanders and you want the snowman on each side? Well, that's easy enough. All we need to do is select our um, plane or our snowman instance and we're going to go to our curve here. We want it to follow a curve and we'll just choose our snowman path curve which we created, which is a straight line currently. And I'm going to select my snowman uh, path curve. I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode and when I select a single point, numpad 7, the top of the graphic view, I'll just extrude this out a bit and you'll notice that something seems to be off here right and the thing that seems to be off here is that all these snowmen are going funny all the information is not working out well so how do you fix that problem I'm just gonna delete this press tap delete this uh, NURBS curve for a second and what we what we need to do here is we need to take the, take the original snowman object I'm gonna just hide the instance quickly and we need to make sure that each of these components, press N, um, all these locations are set correctly. The only exception that we'll make is to the snowman, the snow part of the snowman, because this is controlled by this uh, plane over here. And I, I don't really want to mess with that. I like having the procedural element. But if you had the perfect size, you would apply it and you would, you would, you would do it, what I'm going to do with the rest as well. So this, this is an outlier. Um, right, so you can select the twigs zero 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 one 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 that's fine choose the hat Ooh, that's all weird so i'm going to press ctrl a and i'm going to say all transform boom i'm going to select the eyes press ctrl a all transform zero 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 one 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 and that you kind of have to make sure that everything says that uh, with the one exception of the actual snow because of me not wanting to get rid of that procedural element don't forget about the carrot nose oh you guys don't have this file but this is just me showing you how to troubleshoot some of the glitches you might run into once you've done that i'm going to press n and i'm going to bring back the instance and i'm going to press um, shift a mesh and i am going to add Hold on, deselect everything, shift A, mesh curve. I'm going to add the path curve again. And once again, I'm going to name it the snowman uh, path curve. And then I'm going to select my object instance or that plane. And I'm going to select the snowman path curve. Boom. Then I'm going to press select the snowman path curve, press tab to go into edit mode, press numpad 7. And I'm just going to extrude this out. Now when we do this, you notice that all the components stay in the correct place, and that's quite important. All right, so the next issue we're running into is, you'll notice that these snowmen are too close together compared to the other ones. Like this one shouldn't even be here. And if you look below it, there's no plane, which means it's not an instance. It's actually the, actually the original snowman. So that's something just to keep in mind, numpad one. So, what we could do, um, we could literally make sure it doesn't render. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it as is because it doesn't really matter too much. But we want more snowmen to follow this curve. So how do you do that? You just select your object instance, which is your plane. It's time to go to object mode. Object instance, which is your plane. And you can increase the count. But that's time consuming and laborious. You just want it to fit perfectly. And the way you do that is switch to fit to curve and you select that. All right. Now there's one more problem you're going to run into. If you try and render this image out, nothing in the scene. Hold on. Let me just go back. Control Shift Alt Numpad Zero. Render image. One issue you're going to run into is that all these instances are showing. So how do we make sure that we don't see these planes? Well, that's quite easy. All we need to do is um, click on the object snowman instance and go to the object properties and you can decide whether it's visible on the viewport or the render. We don't want it to be visible on the render. It's okay if it's visible on the viewport. If we click this, it removes it. But we'll leave it like that. Once you've got that, find an angle that you like, maybe something like this. And you'll notice that there'll be only one thing that's not working in the scene. Um, even though you won't experience it because you don't have this file, but just in case you have something similar. If, if I press G, you notice that things fall apart. And it's because I did not apply the settings for this, the 
the snow to make sure that it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And it's because I like the procedural element of that. So, but it would work otherwise. All right, now that we've done that, you can just find an angle that you like. I'm going to use this angle over here. Perfect to create a nice pathway of snowmen, trees, or whatever you want. Control Alt Numpad 0. Select the camera. Press G to grab it. Hold on, press Tab to go into object mode. Press G. Select the camera. Press G. And there you go. And all we have to do is render this out. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.